everybody. Hello, it is Marla with Conversations with Cupid today. I am with the love coach, Bruce Starr. Hey, Bruce. Hey, great to be with you. Love working with you, Marla. You do such great work in the world, and I love what you do. Oh, thank you. Well, we are both trying to bring a little more love into the world, and today this video is for the ladies. We just had an awesome conversation for the guys, and uh, we need to, you know, talk to both sexes so that you guys can both get some great perspectives and tips so that you can actually get together because I as a matchmaker I see a lot of disconnections and I was on uh, Bruce's show uh, yesterday you guys and we had a great talk about something that I think I want to bring up on my show there's two major major topics kind of ideas that I think uh, kind of keep uh, people from getting into great relationships and one of them we talked about kind of that Cinderella uh, Disney um, idea uh, growing up with want, waiting for Prince Charming to ride up on his white horse, right? What, what do you think about that? How that's impacted well, us? You, you put an awful lot, lot of uh, pressure on a relationship when you do that because basically what you're saying is, you know, I'm not going to do the work myself or I'm going to do a little bit of the work, but I really want to rely on a man. I want to rely on a man to make me happy. And we all know eventually that's a formula for disaster. It just is. Hey, when I first moved out to Los Angeles in the 80s, I wanted to marry a Hollywood star, an actress. And I learned really quickly. Can I tell you a quick story? Yeah. I met a fantastic, oh my God, she was the most beautiful girl I'd ever met. I was standing online to watch uh, one of the sitcoms and I met her and I was like, I, she was taking my breath away. Short little thing like this. And then that was it. I didn't have the nerve to say hello to her. Two weeks later, I was on a set over in uh, Culver City and there she was. Oh. And I asked her out and she said, yes. Ooh. I said, oh my God, she gave me her number. And I said, okay, let, we'll go out next Tuesday and I'll, come over at 7.30 and pick you up. Well, I called her at 7. I called her at 7.15, at 7.20, 7.25, 7.30, 7.35. She, 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 at 8 o'clock, she finally got home. I said, we had a date tonight. And she said, yeah, I know, but I had a dance and I had acting. And, I, and, and she had this whole list of things. I said, oh, my God, do I want to be fifth or sixth? on the list of what's important to her. Right. And this Boston Beaner, who just came out to Los Angeles, had to take a pass. Do you want to go out again? And I said, oh my God, I don't. Mm -hmm. And boy, did that give me a clear picture. You can't look for someone else to be that knight in shining armor. You can't look at TV, read a book, uh, watch a TV show, watch a movie and think, that you want your love life to be like the way it is with them because there's a lot of craziness going on and it really doesn't make a ton of sense. Right, right. Yeah, we, and that, um, so as a healer, as a Reiki master and crystal healer, I work a lot with people to integrate, you know, get the healing done and the heart. And when people, are, I used to do this myself who hasn't, you know, looking for something outside of ourselves to make us happy whether that's a man because a lot of women will think okay i gotta find a rich man so he can pay my bills or pay off my credit card or somebody great looking for whatever uh maybe women have wanted to date movie producers so that they could get a part it's sort of that, that it's like love with an agenda so um that is always a, a disaster waiting to happen because we need to love ourselves first and love our life. And then that's an added bonus when somebody wonderful comes in. See this short trip here? Yeah. See this, this is a short trip. When we were younger, we made decisions from here. And yeah. then we started making our decisions from here, thinking about relationships and looking for the best deal. Even though the vast majority of people are doing it, and all of our friends are doing it, yeah. and it sort of looks like the only way to go, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Love needs to be from the heart. It can't be something that we think about. 
or go after the best deal. The reason why there's so many unhappy people now is because they're not coming from their heart and they're looking for what can serve them best. We're not even thinking about, oh, how can I serve this person? Mm -hmm. We need to get back to the basics, the way it worked for 10,000 years. I don't care if people tell me I'm a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. We need to get back to the basics. And what works is feelings from the heart, not thoughts from the head about who we should date and who we shouldn't. Awesome, awesome tip. So you guys, if you do need any healing, you can always come to my website and I give distance healings and get on our mailing lists because uh, we are going to be doing some events together and have a lot of exciting things. And if you go to my uh, website and put in your email, you can get a free guided self-love meditation so you'll be coming from your heart. And the links are below. So thanks, ladies. Much love. Bye. Bye, Bruce. Bye-bye, Marla.